So we we'll go back to our today's reading. The scripture of the day is in the book of John. So we read earlier on in the book of John, chapter 4, verse 82 to 34. John, chapter 4, verse 82 to 34. We read in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That he says to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Then his disciples said to each other, Could someone have brought him food? My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Amen. 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 Nous allons revenir pour ceux qui n'ont pas bien entendu et pour ceux-là qui viennent de faire leur entrée. La prédication est tirée du livre de Jean, chapitre 4, verset 32 jusqu'au 34. Nous disons au nom de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth. Amen. Mais il leur dit. J'ai à manger une nourriture que vous ne connaissez pas. Les disciples se disaient, donc les uns aux autres, quelqu'un lui aurait-il apporté à manger Jésus leur dit, ma nourriture est de faire ma volonté de celui qui m'a envoyé et d'accomplir son œuvre. Amen. Amen, beloved. What a beautiful week that we have spent. We've all challenges but our God is was with us. Amen. When I consider how many when I consider how many of our children have passed their matric exam, I can only say thanks to God. Amen. And if I can see how many children were enrolled and the ones that went back to school, if you ask the parents they will tell you, with God, we made it. Amen. And if you ask them how, they will tell you, we didn't have money, but our God provided to our needs. Amen. 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 Throughout this past week, if I can account the number of people that our God visited and found work, I can only say thanks to him. Amen. 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 And you know that is present in this place this morning. Don't lose hope. Even things are still tough, we have a God. And that God shall meet all your needs Amen. and you will fight all your battles. Amen. 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 So we are today in the book of John, a book that was written by John the Apostle. John himself wrote three different books. So we have the book of John, the letters that John wrote, the same as the book of Revelation. But in all that, he is the only person who painted to us Jesus as the word of God. Amen? Amen. And his phrase, the most important one is to know that in the beginning it was the word, the word was with God, and that word was God. Even the unseen things, all the seen things, all of them were only created by the word of God. But at the end of the day, that word had to be clothed with the flesh and that word lived among us. Amen. Amen. In the person of Jesus. Now, with our today's preaching, it says that the disciple came to Jesus and ask him if he already ate food. And I love his reply. He replied by, them, by saying that, listen, the food that I have to eat, you people, you know nothing about it. Amen? Amen. So that food that I'm going to eat, you people, you don't know what is it. And they were surprised. But for you to understand what we are talking about, let me give you a bit of background of this story. It's the story of the Samaritan woman. A well-known story that everyone knows from the Bible. The town of Samaria was a caste 
city. No one wanted to associate with them because they were filled with their traditions and culture. So all those things were making them to be to sound and clean to the point that you don't greet them, you don't live with them, and you don't eat with them. But throughout his mission on earth, Jesus had to save that entire city. And remember one thing, that it did not come for the people that were clean, but rather it was, it came for the ones that were rejected and the sinners. Amen. 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 So his mission was to go and evangelize into that city. But for him to do so, he has to start with one person. And that person is the one that we all know, portrayed to us as the Samaritan woman. And listen to this. Jesus decided by himself to sit in the world of Jacob. And at that time, his disciples went shopping. I believe they went to look for some good food so that they can serve their master. While they left, Jesus allowed that to happen for a mission. As it says in the book of Romans 8, that everything works for our good. Amen? Amen. And look, that woman came without knowing what was awaiting for her. Jesus was sitting there. She came and she wanted to draw some water. And Jesus asked her, please, would you give me some water? And I love her answer. There is no relationship between us, Samaritans, and you, Jewish. How would you ask me for water? Amen. Amen. Jesus looked at the woman and said, if you knew the gift of God, and if only you know the person that you are talking about, you are talking to, believe me, you are the one to ask for water. Amen. Amen. The, one, the woman was still in her tradition. She was still in her physical life. It was impossible for her to understand what's the message that Jesus was trying to give her. Amen? Amen. For her, she thought that Jesus was looking for water. Who is the creator of water, in fact? So if he really wanted water, I don't believe that he had to go and plead with the woman. But what was the most important thing? It was through that water, through that storm, he wanted to save that woman's life. Amen? Amen. Amen. And the lady started to give her excuses. You don't have anything to get water. But how would you give me water? To cut short the story, Jesus told her, go home and call me your husband. So now, it's no more about water, but go and call your husband. What does it mean? Jesus is no more on the physical realm, now he's trying to prophesy over the lady. Go and call me your husband. Listen, Jesus. Listen, man. I don't have the husband. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He turned unto her and said, In fact, you had five husbands. So the one that you have, I mean, husband number six is not your husband. I can see some women laughing. I don't know what they're laughing about. Amen. Amen. So you have five husbands. And now as you are talking, your husband number six does not belong to you. Amen. Amen. Now the question is, was it a physical husband or a spiritual one? Thank you, mothers. In that time, if you have moved, if you are a woman, that's your husband. And if you are a man, that's your wife. Amen. So meaning at that time, that woman had already five, assume, a way to attract men.
Amen. Amen. But now, God has sent someone who brought to us the food that we didn't know about. Amen. Amen. And that food is the word of God. Amen. Amen. And that food is the doctrine of God. Now the question is, the doctrine that you have received, are you going to keep it for yourself or are you going to share it with other people? Amen. Amen. There are so many servants of God scouted around the world. There are so many people that are claiming to bring the word of God. But God, in this time, has selected one person. Amen. Amen. And when God rises a man, he will not rise two at the same time. There is only one person. And that person is worthy of your trust. Amen. Amen. And that person will bring you a knowledge that he has given us. Remember this, it's written in the scriptures that my people die because of what? So, when we were still outside, we were still lacking that knowledge. And he had to come, God has to choose him in order for him to come and bring us this knowledge that we have. And throughout this knowledge, you can understand that you are not living for yourself, but you are living for others. And whatever that you have, it's not for your own sake, but it's for a community. Amen. Amen. And the reason, before his departure, Christ gave a mission. He gave a mission to his disciples by saying, Go throughout the world, preach the gospel. And whoever's going to believe you, that person will be saved, and I will be with you until the last time. Amen. Amen. Amen, Buddha. Amen. To the Lord, to the Lord, to Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, 20. Matthew 28, 19, 20. To the Lord, to the Lord, Jesus Christ, to the Lord. Amen. Allez, faites de toutes les nations des disciples, les baptisants au nom du Père, du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Et enseignez-leur à observer tout ce que je vous ai prescrit. Et voici, je suis avec vous tous les jours jusqu'à la fin du monde. Nous revenons. Matthieu chapitre 28, verset 19, 20. Allez, faites de toutes les nations des disciples, les baptisant au nom du Père, du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Et enseignez-leur à observer tout ce que je vous ai prescrit. Et voici. Je suis avec vous tous les jours jusqu'à la fin du monde. Chapitre 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And surely I'm with you always. Each. Amen. Amen. So here is the mission that Christ has left us with, and that the very same mission that the man of God has assigned each and every one of us as we are gathering this morning. Go around the world, around the city, around the district, around the, how do you call it? The only thing that you do, teach them the word of God. Amen. Amen. So the food that Christ has brought us, it's not a physical food, but not a spiritual food that consists of teaching the word of God. Now, the way that we are going to teach, the way that you are going to teach, in short, we all become teachers. To be a teacher is not only for you to teach the students, but it's also to get a, a positive feedback from that student. You can be a best teacher as you want to call yourself. But if your students do not live in the standard of your teachings, then you are the most useless teacher. Amen. Amen. Now watch this. Go and teach. As you are teaching, there is a theoretical component mixed with the practicals. So now, we all have already heard about the Word of 
God. 100% I'm sure that you know the doctrine of the word of God. To the extent that you will not waste your time listening to all the nonsense that the outsiders will bring to you. Amen. But there is one thing that is my practical component that consists of putting into practice what we have heard from the word of God. Amen. Amen. That's the reason I really love the meaning and explanation that the man of God himself has given about the concept of prayer. For real, and if I may quote him, the true prayer consists of us putting into practice the word of God. Amen. Amen. Regardless of the way you are going to behave yourself, regardless of the way that you are going to conduct yourself, but the most important thing is for us to have put into practice the word of God. Because that's the bottom line. Amen. Amen. Now, we need to practice, as he said, go and teach them. So, you have been already taught to so many things. Now, it's time for us to read from our teachings. Amen. Amen. But now, if that woman encountered Jesus, today, you have met Jesus through one man. And that man is the man of God, prophet of the Polo, Dominic. Amen. Amen. Now, that man that we are talking about is on his way to come to South Africa. Now, once he will be here, believe me, there will be so many lives that will be saved. For that man to come in this land, whether you like it or not, let me assure you that peace will be restored in many households. There are people that are suffering. There are people who are crying days and nights. They don't know what to do anymore. It's like they are at the age of their lives. Whatever they do that do not succeed, their sicknesses are not going away, regardless of the quantity of juice that they have drank. But let me tell you on this pulpit, the coming of that man will be a solution for more people problems here. Amen. 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 Not only you, but even the outsiders. Amen. When the man of God is here, what always shocked me and surprised me, only few of the believers are following him. When you go to West States, mostly it's the outsiders. The question is, how do they know that man? Amen. Amen. Now, for you to understand who is that man, number one, you need to have developed a personal relationship with him. Let me tell you, if you don't trust someone, whatever that someone will do, that person will do, you never succeed. You know, if you trust someone, even if you just say a little word, that word will produce so many things in you. Amen. 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 Number two, you need to get out of the crowd that surrounds you. Mm. Amen. 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 Your crowd is so negative. You need to depart from it. Amen. Amen. When you believed in the word of God, it was you and your God, yes. not people that surrounded you. Right. Because those people will always come with testimonies. Mm. They will always come with stories. And if you give your hear to them, believe me, you will end up losing what God has prepared for you. Amen. 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 That's the reason I'm saying, get out of your, you know, surrounding. Let's take that crowd be away from you. Like that woman who was losing blood. You know, she didn't consider who was close to Jesus. Mm. In fact, no one prophesied over herself or uh, over her life. But she said to herself, if only I can go, if only I can touch this man, I know God will do something. Amen. Amen. Now, that relationship that you have built in the past needs to be revised. Amen. Amen. I believe even with cars, people that are living with cars, people that are driving on a weekly basis, 
you need to service your car. Now, if you service your car, how much more your spirit? It needs a little bit of touch. Amen. Amen. And last, the last thing that you need to control around yourself, get out of your soul of comfort. Do you see that comfort soul in which you find yourself? It comes with so many limitations. Can I tell you the first limitation? Amen. You want me to tell you? Amen. The man of God is coming to South Africa. Amen. Who's the junior? We want him here. That contribution, 1,000. Now, let me tell you, my righteous shall live by my faith. Mm. Very few people have responded. Let me repeat again. My righteous shall live by my faith. Now, listen. The true faith is to go against your will. Mm. I don't know if someone has understood what I said. Amen. The true faith is to go out of your own limitations. Amen. Say to yourself, God, I don't have anything. Amen. But before the deadline, I want to see you face to face. Amen. I don't know how am I going to contribute. In fact, look, you have seven children. So that means you plus your seven children, one thousand times ten seven. It goes to seven thousand. Thank you. Now you ask yourself, why am I going to have the seven thousand dollars? Now, the true food is for you to put your body to test. Say to yourself, God, I remember you sent a raven. That raven fed the servant of God, Elijah. If that raven came, why not me? Amen. 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 We sent here, Daniel Yahweh. How many people among us are living by faith? Most of us here, we live by our view. You consider what is happening around you. And you say to yourself, it's impossible. But with the help of God, may all those limitations go away from you. Amen. 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 That's the reason even Paul and John says, the very same John says, he preached the message that is different to the one that we are bringing to you. Do not accept him. Amen. 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 Deux Jean chapitre 2 Jean verset 8 à 10. Deux Jean verset 8 à 10. Tout à l'heure, comme on laisse ma salle ma salle. Prenez garde à vous-même, afin que vous ne perdiez pas le fruit de votre travail, mais que vous receviez une pleine récompense. Quiconque va plus loin et ne demeure pas dans la doctrine de Christ n'a point Dieu. C'est lui qui demeure dans la doctrine à le Père et le Fils. Si quelqu'un vient à vous et n'apporte pas cette doctrine, ne le recevez pas dans votre maison et ne lui dites pas salut. Amen. Amen. Second John. Comes from you with verse. I start from seven. I say this because many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such person is a deceiver and an antichrist. Watch out that you do not lose what we have worked for, but you may be rewarded fully. Anyone who runs ahead and does not continue in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever continues in the teaching as both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not take them into your house and welcome them. Anyone who welcomes them shares in the wicked work. Amen. Amen. Now, this is what the scripture says. That you need to be grounded both in the knowledge of the Father and the Son. In another words, you have to have understood the doctrine of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Now, this doctrine does not only dwell on your physical knowledge. Because we do not read the Bible like a newspaper or a magazine, but we need to be revealed and inspired by the Holy Spirit 
so that we may understand what we are talking about. Right? Now, it says, if anyone brings a message that does not correspond to this message, in other words, for us to input down the seeds of this word, it requires that everyone needs to be in action. Amen. Amen. From the servant of God point of view, as well as the, the, the believer's perspective, anyone, anyone needs to come together so that we can bring up this word. But this word has its meaning once the man of God is among us. We were all like the lost sheep. Just like the Samaritans. Now we have received this message through one person. And that person is coming. Ask yourself, with your contribution, if you allow him to come in this land, count how many lives will be saved. Ask yourself, how many people are going to understand the true word of God. And in return, whoever who gives something shall also receive something. If you do not get it physically, even in the spiritual realm, throughout the generations that are going to come true, they will praise God. Amen. 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 From today, look at your surrounding and get out of your zone of comfort and do what God requests you to do. He doesn't ask much. In fact, you are going to gain more than what you are going to lose. Reason why Jesus said, my food is not known by you. Amen. Amen. But you are lucky because today you are aware of it. Seven trumpets. Oh.
we seek God for with this one of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the spirit of prophecy. Amen. 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 Amen.